This is NFL Live for Week 6. Here's your host, Bob Costas. Welcome to the NFL Live studio in New York with Will McDonough and O.J. Simpson. And we'll hear from both of these gentlemen shortly. We'll also hear from Jim Lampley and Hannah Storm, who have an investigative piece on the alleged gang rape involving the Cincinnati Bengals. It's a doubleheader day here on NBC, also a doubleheader day for Deion Sanders. The first half of that doubleheader will take place at Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami with Deion's Falcons taking on the Dolphins about a half hour from now. Then it's back to Pittsburgh for Game 5 of the National League Championship Series tonight, though we understand he has decided not to divert to St. Louis to act as a panelist in tonight's presidential debate. It's been a busy enough 13 hours for Sanders. He pinch hit late in the Braves' win last night, striking out in the eighth. Then a quick departure out of Three Rivers. We're not sure if he showered, but since he was caught looking, one would assume he didn't break much of a sweat. By the way, the Braves won the game 6-4 to four to take a 3-1 lead over the Pirates in the series and could wrap it up and head for the World Series tonight. A quick limo ride for Dion from the stadium to the Allegheny County Airport, a small field about 45 minutes away. The Learjet awaiting to take him from Pittsburgh to Miami, where he had three options on board. Sleep, study the Falcon game plan for Miami, or talk to Pat O'Brien. That is not Pat behind him, but Pat was over in the corner of the screen. The plane was airborne at 1.35 a.m. for the journey to South Florida, about 1,000 miles, and then Dion will pull into the Fort Lauderdale Airport at the fine hour of 4 a.m. Here he comes. Not enough of a close-up to see if he's bleary-eyed or not. He checked into the team hotel, got a few hours of sleep, and arrived at Joe Robbie Stadium just after 11 this morning. And there is that familiar number 21 warming up just a few minutes ago. He'll be returning kicks and punts, as well as looking to blanket either Mark Duper or Mark Clayton. A short while ago, I talked to Dolphins coach Don Shula about Dion. Great athlete, and every time he gets the ball on a punt or a kickoff return, he's just a tremendous threat. As a coach, you've got to sympathize with Glanville's position, or in a sense, a guy like Bobby Cox in Atlanta, the baseball manager. This is a tough situation to juggle. Well, I'm sure it is, but you know, that's, that's something that I don't have to deal with, so uh, they, they really don't get a lot of sympathy. <laughs> Minimal compassion displayed here by Shula, but he told me in another part of the interview that he prepared all week as if Sanders was going to be there, and he is. Well, you know, uh, Sanders is a, a unique athlete, and uh, his uh, abilities afford him the opportunity of not really having to fit into uh, Atlanta's defense. They're going to put him one-on-one -on, -one on Miami's best receiver. You must assume that's Mark Clayton, and that's all he has to do. He, has to, he doesn't have to worry about what the other guys are doing, but I don't think you can go to bed at 4 a.m. and cover a receiver of Mark Clayton's ability. I, just, I think he's going to have a long day, Will. Juice, we will let me find out. Let me tell you something, Juice. This is not about him playing against Miami today. This is about money and publicity. You know, he just went into an advertising campaign with Nike, and they're the other ones that I understand that are picking up the tab for this thing. This thing. It cost 8300 alone just for the plane. Now, if he didn't play today, he wouldn't make $118,000, and that's his game check for playing in Miami today. So that's the reason he's there. And he wouldn't generate the kind of publicity for himself and for Nike that this two sports in one day primetime mm -hmm. baseball game on a Sunday night is going to generate for them. You're right. By the way, not unprecedented for someone to go to bed at 4 a.m. or later for other reasons <laughs> and still perform fairly well in the game later that same day.